on the Facebook page. Beloved, I'm telling you something. When you read this, you might vomit or you might faint. Look at what this says. Quote his words, the president. He says, this morning, we held a meeting with the who? And Seventh-day Adventist president calling the man of sin what? No, because it's his words, I'll read it. This morning, we held a meeting with the Holy Father, Pope Francis, at the Vatican in Rome. Of particular interest to Zambians is that Pope Francis comes from what? Does he know it? Comes from the Jesuit order, a branch of the Catholic clerics that has had a profound influence on Zambia's education system for over what a century maybe he knows the history of jesuitism maybe he's jesuit educated i don't know maybe he's jesuit trained i don't know or maybe he knows Jes maybe he goes to lunch with jesuit he goes to parties with jesuit maybe he read jesuit books and now he is uh, loving having a great pension for jesuitism or maybe it's fear Maybe it's blackmail. Maybe they know something about him. Whichever, it's apostasy. Notice, my friends, then the next paragraph, he said this. Watch this and weep. Red words. We. We is a plural personal pronoun. We, therefore, reiterated our resolve to working with who? The church back in Zambia. Joining Popery, joining Jesuitism. He writes, blue words, he writes, we will always look up to the church as Seventh-day Adventist leader saying, I will look up to, look up to who? Psalm 121, shall I lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help, my help cometh. From the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Hold on, but somebody has a city that dwells upon hills. I wonder which church has a city upon hills. That's the Vatican on seven hills. What is he doing? Looking up, brothers and sisters. He says that we will always, bluebirds, look up to the church for guidance in what? In dealing with national matters. But brothers and sisters, I wonder, what will the general conference president say? What will the African Union division say based on this? This is apostasy, apostasy, apostasy. And if they are quiet, they are complicit. Blood on their hands. All right, beloved, pass that. And what is the aim of Jesuitism? What are we told? To overthrow what? Protestantism. And Protestantism stands for what? Liberty of conscience. Liberty for true worship. Can you see clearly when the son of the law is enforced in America, will you guess it will ever go to Zambia? There's no son of the law yet. And the leaders of these nations, a Seventh-day Adventist president is saying, whatever the Pope says, I'll follow. That's apostasy. Sacrilege. That's what it is, my friends. Notice, how, how do you think God feels? And that's why today I'm going to address right now, without any further ado, the subtitle, You Are a Universalist Adventist Catholic. Let that sink in. What did I just say, friends? You are what? I'm not guessing at this. I'm not guessing at this. I'm not guessing at this. Go to Revelation chapter 12. The Bible tells us of the great controversy between Christ and Satan. Between whom? Between Christ and Satan. And the Bible says in verse number 7 of Revelation 12, that there was war where? In heaven. War where? In heaven. In heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Right, my friends? But they prevailed not. Were they cast out? Were they cast out? 
And the Bible says now in verse number 12 and verse number 17 of Revelation 12, that war that began in heaven has now descended to this earth. Am I ready? What side of this great controversy will I be found on? What side of this great controversy will you be found on? Whose mind will you have? The mind of Satan? Whose mind will you have? The mind of the Pope? Whose mind will you have? When Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Whose mind do we need? These men, like the Zambia SDA president, if he does not repent, he will never, ever receive the seal of God and be saved. And woe unto those who follow his apostate leadership. He's a sellout, brothers and sisters. He's selling God out for position, selling God out for money. Selling God out for popularity. Selling God out to what? Protect himself. But Jesus says, what shall it profit a man? You know it. To gain 